dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we have a bit of a, I guess I call it a rant video today, where we're talking about a major issue I've noticed as someone that interacts with the Warframe community on a daily basis. We have some issues with Incarnon rotations, and more specifically, the Incarnon market. Uh, now that the Gargoyles Cry events are about to go away in about a week, I think we can finally talk about this annoyance that has happened to the Gargoyles Cry event because of how this Incarnate Rotation market works. So if you don't understand any of this, don't worry, I'll explain it all. Uh, but before we get into it, make sure you're sub to the channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Hit that sub button. Also, hit the like button as well. Uh, it lets more people see this video. And if you think this is also an issue like I do, feel free to chime down in the comments about what you do to solve this. Because, honestly, I've thought about this a lot, and there might be a reason why DE is not fixing this uh, that I'll definitely explain in this video. So let's get right into it. All right, so what is the main thing I'm complaining about in the video today? It's going to involve the Steel Path circuit and those Incarnon uh, adapters. So if you pay attention to how Warframe works in 2024, early, uh, most of 2023, we have Daviri now. And there's these new items on Daviri called Incarnon Genesis. They're basically upgrades to your old weapons. Here, I'm actually in the spot you get them right now, or where you upgrade them. These things over here, these are the... Some of the new best guns in the game. So we've all been carrying on guns. Get my, you know, my bow prime. Make it do, make it do slash procs. Maybe I should have upgraded the bow prime. Probably. How about a better example of the bolt door prime that is here this week? Increase crit. I can go for status. Blah 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 blah. That's all well and good. But did you know that this can take up to six weeks to show up, and there is no way to grind your way to it? These items are on a weekly rotation. That's why I make those weekly reset videos. And additionally, so once you get them all, like, great, but you have to wait six weeks to get all these. They're going to be adding, a, there will be a seventh week added in 2024, from what it seems like. But look at this, there's an Incarnon Market. What does this Incarnon Market button do? Into the void. Any weapon can be it made. lets you buy these five Incarnons that are the week two rotation. There's six different weeks. Week one, week two, you know, week five, all that stuff. This is the week two rotation. This will never change. The only Incarnons you could buy with Platinum are these five Incarnons from week two. And you can buy these during any week. So I think we're on like week four or five right now, technically. You can buy the week two Incarnons on week five. So when I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, you know what? This is, it's an option. It let, they also give you the resource for buying this. This is at least an option for people that want to get the Torrid Incarnon during Gargoyle's Cry, which is one of the meta guns for the event. You know what I told them? Because Gargoyles Cry started the week after this, I said, here's, here's what you do. You wait for six weeks, and then the event will be gone, and then you'll get your Torrid. That's what I had to tell them, because there's no other solution to it. Because when the event started, I think it was like the week after the Torrid was here. So it's like, okay, well, if you want to get the Torrid, if you just came back to the game, you just came back to cross save, you have to wait six weeks. And in 2024, it might be seven weeks uh, with how they're adding new Incarnon. So yes, I think that they should change something with this Incarnon market right here. Now, either make it where it's RNG, it's five random ones every week, or make it where it's a, rot a thing where it goes in like maybe reverse order of what our rot rotation is. Let's say that, let's say they decide, okay, you know what, Gaz was right. Everyone that's been returned to the game complaining that why can't we buy these, why, why, why is there no way to get these is right. Uh, we will do this. They could maybe make it where the rotation that is normal, the one that the circuit is on, is going to be going forward. So let's say it starts next week. It's not going to start next week. Let's say it starts next week. It'd be week six for the circuit. And then it would be week five for the market. And the market would go from five to four, and four to three, and then so on and so forth. And the actual Incarnon, like circuit rotation, would go from five to six, six to seven when we get seven, and then seven to one, and so on and so forth. They'd, they'd, they'd go backwards off each other, so it would be the easiest coverage of getting uh, Incarnons that are not currently here. Because, yes, this is an issue. I mean, not a massive issue, but it ends up being... Hey, uh, what weapon should I use instead of the Torrid? Because there's literally no way on earth to get it right now. People are actually getting Torrid Rhythms before the Torrid Incarnon. Like, a lot. Like, actually a lot of people. Because there's no way to get Torrid Incarnon. So, and that's just one example. You know, like, there's other examples, too. Like, we just got the Ceramic Dagger Incarnon this week. That's great for people that didn't have it. But I, I, it just feels really weird. Like, why can we not actually target farm these at all? Unless we wait, like, over a month at certain times. Over a month to wait just to, like, get the... Get, to unlock the feature of being able to uh, grind this out is kind of crazy to me. And also, it, it's, it would be easy plat for DE. They already have these Incarnons purchasable. I, now, okay, let's, let's play devil's advocate here. Why is DE not doing this already? I'm going to tell you what my theory is. It's because these five Week 2 Incarnons were actually purchasable at launch. 
None of the other Incarnons are purchasable besides those Week 2 ones that they decide to make purchasable at launch. So that's why I think they're not doing this, guys. DE loves to play the card of, well, other people already grinded it out, so we don't want to make it easier because then it would diminish their grind. And at the same time, they're like, okay, the, those people that, that would, uh, you know, apparently complain would be like, yeah, there was no purchase option at launch. Uh, now I, I am, now everyone must suffer because I grinded it out and I would have bought it for 120 plat instead. That is realistically why we're probably not going to get this. Even though, you know, it's, it's extremely silly to be telling someone to wait. They have to, they have to wait over a month to get a gun in this game where, you know, you can go out and grind out nearly any other weapon. There's no other weapon that really is that time-locked. Maybe like a prime. You can you can go farm relics or buy. Because you can't, you can't even trade these. You can't trade for them. You can't buy them. You just have to wait. It just seems ridiculous to me and crazy. So, I think that they should change it up. My 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 idea is just five random ones that can be kind of fun like exciting like okay check which one's this is, is this week oh we got the torrid we got the gamma core we got the blah 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 i think random would be fun because it's you know it, it'd be fun to check every week honestly but if, it, if they didn't do it like that they just do a, a weekly rotation that it goes reverse that would also work but yeah i do think at the end of the day they are just they're gonna they're gonna pull the card of they already grinded it out so we're not doing it we want to hurt their feelings the guy that grinded out one hour of circuit isn't a complain so that's my current theory. Um, I think that it, uh, it, it seems like they use that excuse sometimes, but also at the same time they say, uh, we'll give you a four, we nerfed your gun, here's one Forma. Because when they nerfed the Kuva Nucor, I had like four or five Kuva Nucors, and I got like one Forma for each of them, I think it was. So yikes there. Um, but yeah, I think this is a big enough problem because we have so many returning players. This system didn't really, it was never a good feeling system in the first place, having to wait so long for these rotations. So I, I think like they can start removing things like this and just, you know, maybe it was a good idea at the time to for player retention, and that's, that's another reason they won't remove it, is player retention. It makes you sign in every week. Oh, is it the week for for the Torrid? Nope, it's the week for the it's week for the uh, the Latron, actually. You'll get you'll get your Latron and all that. But the way it stands right now, it's not pushing players away, but it's just annoying players, I guess I'd call it. So if DE is okay with and honestly, DE, this is probably all part of DE's plan right here. Just make it where, you know... People keep thinking about the game. That's why there's daily login bonuses. That's why there's build times. They want to keep the game in the back of your mind, so you're always thinking about it. And maybe you're going and buying uh, Tenogen at 4 a.m. like I did yesterday. So, hope you guys found this video uh, at least interesting and helpful. Uh, the Incarnon rotations are fine as is. It's just it, it, it's a long. It, if it's gonna be, if they're gonna be adding another a seventh week, it's been about to feel kind of ridiculous here because that's about two months at that point. Telling someone to wait two months for a, uh, a specific weapon when they don't really, not any other parts of the game really do that as much. If there is another part of the game that requires like about a month of waiting or longer to get access to a specific gear item, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, the only thing I could think of is Prime Access. But again, you could trade that from other players. You could open up Relics. It's not like they're impossible to obtain. They're just annoying to obtain. So I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate all the support. Take it easy. Peace.